Onion is commonly sown on ground nursery, which is riskier than producing seedlings in containers and placing in seedling nursery. To reduce the risks, employ improved techniques in preparing the ground nursery. First is the right selection of the area. Consider good light exposure, fertile soil, good drainage and safety from stray animals. Clean the area of weeds and other plant debris. For every 10 meters squared of the field area, you need to prepare a meter squared size of bed for ground nursery. Example, if the planting field is 500 meters squared, prepare 50 meters squared of bed, that is 1 meter width by 50 meter length. Cultivate the soil with a hoe and pulverize it well. Raise the bed with a height of 20 centimeters during dry season and 30 centimeters during the rainy season. The raised beds will prevent seeds or seedlings from being washed out during heavy rain. Sterilize the soil by burning dried grasses on top and exposing it to sunlight for a few days before sowing. You can also water the bed daily for a week to germinate the weed seeds, then remove the sprouted weeds. This will reduce the weeds growing at the same time with the onion seedlings, which compete with the nutrients, space, and light. Once the beds are sterilized, it's ready to sow the onion seeds. Before you start sowing, read the information on the packet. If it is mentioned that the seeds are quoted, and if you observe after opening the seed packets that the seeds are colored, take some precaution for sowing. You can wear gloves or wash your hands after sowing. Draw lines on the open nursery beds with sticks and rope for small nursery. You can use a stick to deepen the line just a little. If you have a larger nursery, you can use a system that will allow you to mark the beds with multi-lines at one time. Sow the seed thinly in each line. Take your time to do it. The seeds are small. Be careful not to sow too deep. Then cover with fine soil and moisturize the bed with a water sprinkler or bottle. To keep a regular moisture during germination, it is a good idea to place straw on top of it. The straw mulch will reduce evaporation. The straw will be carefully removed as soon as most of the seeds are germinated. To protect from heavy rain, you can cover the top of the bed with rain shelter structure. Although the nursery is protected, it needs daily monitoring and care. Take time to look at the nursery measure the germination, look for insect pests or early symptoms of diseases or nutrient deficiencies. Check the soil moisture if water is needed. Sprinkle carefully. Apply water uniformly on the bed. A net can be placed on the nursery to protect the new seedlings from insect pests and stray animals. The net is held by sticks above the nursery and it is closed. After one week, the seedlings are small. Observe carefully for symptoms of problems. The seedling production will take 35 to 45 days for onion. Constant maintenance of the open nursery is very important. Weeding is done every day when visiting the nursery. By weeding regularly, the onion seedlings are protected from nutrient competition, insect pests, and disease. If the seedlings show symptoms of nutrient deficiencies, such as very light green color, it may be a good idea to add some nutrients. To apply fertilizer at such a young age, some precaution can be taken. Prepare a starter solution by mixing 10 to 15 grams of calcium nitrate 
in 10 liters of water. Water the soil, avoiding the leaves of the seedlings. If the leaves received the starter solution, rinse with clean water. When the seedlings reach a growth stage to be transplanted, reduce the watering and protection from the sun. The seedlings will harden, ready for transplanting.